Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on the SI bass guitar in Cakewalk. On the Plugins tab, click on the Virtual Instruments icon. Double click on Bass. Double click on SI bass guitar. Then click on OK. Click on the sound drop list. Press the mouse cursor on the bottom of the pop up menu and drag down until the scroll bar appears. Then press the mouse cursor on the scroll bar and drag down. Then double click on Rockomatic to load this bass sound. Then click on the X icon. For this demo, I will use a preset pattern. So double click on Rock. Then double click on the Rock 05 pattern to hear it. Now press the mouse cursor on the Rock 05 pattern and drag it to the SI bass guitar track. Then click on the X icon. Now right mouse click on the MIDI pattern. Click on Edit on the pop-up menu. Then click on Copy. Then click on OK. Now click on the ruler so the track position marker line is moved to the end of the MIDI pattern. Then right mouse click the blank area of the SI bass track. Click on Edit on the pop-up menu. Then click on Paste. Now double click on the top of the duplicate MIDI pattern. The Piano View MIDI Editor pane now opens. Next press the right mouse button and drag the mouse cursor over the notes of the duplicate pattern to select them. Then press the mouse cursor on the first selected note and drag down the screen until the pop-up message says key equals G3.
Next, click on the track expand icon. Then click on the plus icon in the FX section of the SI bass track header. Click on Insert Audio Effects. Click on EQ. Then click on Sonatus Equalizer. First, let's remove the low frequencies that can muddy up the mix. So click on the Band 2 Filter drop list. and click on Shelving Low. Next, double click the Band 2 Frequency text box. Type in 100. Then drag the Band 2 slider all the way to the left. Then drag the band one slider all the way to the left. Next, let's remove the high frequencies that can also muddy up the mix. So click on the band five filter drop list and click on shelving high. Double click the band five frequency text box Type in 1500, then tap on the enter key on your keyboard, then drag the band 5 slider all the way to the left. And then drag the band 6 slider all the way to the left. Finally, let's boost the mid frequencies to give the bass some punch. So drag the band 3 slider to the right until the gain text box says about 5 dB. OK, that's the EQ done, so click on the X icon. Next, click on the plus icon in the effects section of the SI Bass Track header. Click on Insert Audio Effects. Click on Guitar. Then click on TH3. Click on the Categories drop list, then click on AMP. Now scroll down. And then drag the Bass Super Tube VR to the centre section. Then click on the Categories drop list and click on Cabinet. Then drag the 4 times 10 base ashes to the centre section. Then click on the Categories drop list. and click on Overdrive.
Then drag the tube 9 to the centre section. Now press on the drive knob and drag down until the pop-up message says about 2. Then press on the tone knob and drag up until the pop-up message says 10. Then press on the level knob and drag down until the pop-up message says about 3. And that's it for the TH3, so click on the X icon. Next, click on the plus icon in the effects section of the SI Bass Track header. Click on Insert Audio Effects. Click on Delay. Then click on Sonatus Delay. Reverb pushes the sound back in the mix, making it less clear. So here we will use a delay instead to add some natural ambience and thicken up the bass guitar sound. First, let's set the timing of the echoes. Setting the left and right timing different will sound more spatial. So click on the left factor drop list. Then click on 3 over 4. Then click on the right factor drop list. And click on 1 over 2. Next, let's reduce the number of echoes so they don't muddy up the mix. Drag the left feedback slider left until the feedback text box says about 10. Link is currently switched on, so the right feedback will automatically change. Now let's reduce the volume of the echoes so they don't hide the bass notes. Drag the left mix slider left until the feedback text box says about 10. Link is currently switched on, so the right mix will also automatically change. OK, that's the delay done, so click on the X icon. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.